Theodore Fonville Winans is known to be the most legendary photographer in Louisiana's history. His internationally acclaimed black and white photographs captured the soul of Louisiana in the 20th century. His remarkable images tell the story of the unique people, places, and customs of Louisiana's rich and distinct culture. Fonville was considered a photographic genius with an eye for authenticity. His work grants viewers a window into the many fascinating aspects of Louisiana's diverse culture. His acclaimed photos of early Creole and Cajun societies, exotic swamps, landscapes, and seascapes show the many fascinating aspects of the beloved Pelican State. Fonville's memorable photographs of the Feliciana hunting trials, Grand Isle fishing rodeos, politicians, New Orleans landmarks, Louisiana State University, and ordinary citizens serve as an important documentation of a remarkable era in Louisiana's history. Fonville was born on August 22, 1911, in Mexico, Missouri. He was raised in Fort Worth, Texas. Young Fonville's passion for photography started in high school. He bought a 3A Kodak camera for $30 after seeing it in the window of a nearby store. Inspired by his new purchase, Fonville entered a photography contest, winning $15, which stirred his interest in pursuing photography as a career. In 1931, during the difficult years of the Great Depression, Fonville moved to Louisiana to work in construction with his father. His father won a contract to build a bridge across Bayou Ramos near Morgan City. Fonville was hired on as a carpenter's helper and was introduced for the first time to the vast Louisiana coastland. He was fascinated by the exotic feel of the state and described it as being in the darkest Africa with alligators, palmettos, and Spanish moss. It was pure adventure for him, and he loved it. After the completion of the bridge, he returned to Fort Worth with his father. Fonville's adventurous spirit and yearning to explore South Louisiana swamps led him to the idea of making a film that captured the story of the coastal wilderness, its curious people, and the scaled reptiles of the moss-laden landscape of South Louisiana. He purchased a small, leaky, rudderless sailboat for $25, dubbed it the Pintail, enlisted the help of two buddies, and set out on the waterways of South Louisiana, searching for adventure and fortune. Filming with a 16mm camera, as well as the Kodak, Fonville documented his travels in a film called The Cruise of the Pintail. Fonville took his most extraordinary and acclaimed photos during his several visits to Grand Isle in the early 1930s. He uniquely captured Louisiana's southern swamps and grassy coastal wetlands, as well as the early Cajun people who inhabited them. He drove the back roads and navigated the bayous, documenting the many enchanting aspects of Louisiana's culture. Fonville captured the essence of the Acadian society, fishermen, hunters, moss gatherers, and other wetland residents seen at life and work. During his travels, he took remarkable photographs of revelers at a rice festival in Crowley, field trials in East Feliciana Parish, the interior of Avery Island salt mines, and prisoners at Angola. After these adventurous years, Fonville moved to Baton Rouge with only $10 and a band scholarship to Louisiana State University. While studying journalism at LSU, Fonville captured many activities at the school, some of which were published in the school yearbook, Gumbo, and student newspaper, The Reveille. Fonville not only took still photos, but also started filming when LSU eventually gave him funds to purchase a motion picture camera. One day walking around campus, Fonville crossed paths with an old friend from Fort Worth whose name was Helen Collins. Their friendship sparked into a loving relationship and they married in 1936. From 1938 to 1940, Fonville served as one of Louisiana's state photographers. During this period, Fonville began photographing well-known Louisiana politicians, prominent citizens, and elected officials. Throughout the next 50 years, Fonville would photograph every Louisiana governor except David Treen and Buddy Roma. In addition to traditional headshots, Fonville captured candid photographs at inaugurations, rallies, 
and other political gatherings. His work also documented Louisiana's most important industries, sugarcane, rice, seafood, and petroleum. Some of his most notable works are his extraordinary images of early campus life at Louisiana State University, where he took iconic photographs of Tiger Stadium, Mike the Tiger's first cage, and Alex Box Stadium. One of his best known pictures, taken in 1939, was in an underground salt mine at Avery Island. After a period of remarkable creative output for over a decade, in the early 1940s, Fonville settled in Baton Rouge and began his career as a commercial photographer. He made a living doing portraits, weddings, and advertisements. He built his greatest reputation as a popular wedding photographer for Baton Rouge society. His friendly and humorous style enabled him to capture a bride's special day with unprecedented beauty and authenticity. Fonville remained one of the most highly sought after photographers in Louisiana until his death in 1992. For over half a century, Fonville dedicated his life's work to capturing Louisiana's unique culture. His work has been honored with exhibitions throughout the world to include Los Angeles, London, Paris, and Angers, France. In 1990, the Foundation for Historical Louisiana honored Fonville with its prestigious Preservation Award for his enduring visual record of Louisiana's culture, as well as its principal political figures for over half a century. In 1999, Fonville's studio was placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. His many celebrated images have appeared in numerous publications, including a book on his life and work entitled Fonville Winans, Louisiana, Politics, People, and Places by Cyril Vetter and Chef John Folse's Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole Cuisine. In 1994, the Louisiana State Museum acquired the largest collection of Fonville Winans photographs and in 2020, the State Museum honored his legacy with the exhibit, A Colorful World in Black and White, Fonville Winans Photographs of Louisiana. His entire collection is now archived in the Louisiana State University Library's Special Collection Department. Since his death, collectors have sought out his work from across the globe. His work has been featured in films, television series, and published in books in both the United States and Europe. No other photographer captured the people, places, and customs of South Louisiana better than Fonville. Fonville's enduring visual testimony of Louisiana's culture has made him a revered figure and a true Louisiana legend. His work has been described as having a sense of purity, not contrived or deliberate, but taken as a simple record and testament to the time and place he loved, Louisiana. Louisiana.